ceremonial start to a controversial construction. The President of the Dominican Republic, Luis Abinader, presses the button to begin building a 160-kilometre-long border wall between his country and its only land neighbour, Haiti. We are committed to the construction of an intelligent border fence, a fence that will benefit both countries because it will make it possible to control bilateral trade much more efficiently, regulate migratory flows to combat human trafficking mafias, deal with drug trafficking and the illegal sale of arms, and protect the livestock and crops of cattle ranchers and agricultural producers. It all sounds very familiar. The government of former US President Donald Trump built more than 700 kilometres of fencing along the US-Mexico border, a policy that was a priority for him starting on the campaign trail. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. But Mexico didn't pay and Trump's successor Joe Biden has stopped building the wall. Israel has constructed walls in Gaza and the occupied West Bank, saying they're necessary for security. But Palestinians and human rights groups say the structures are devastating to communities. Tens of thousands of Palestinians have to navigate checkpoints daily and in some cases need permits to access their own property. In Europe, Poland has been criticised for beginning construction on a fence along its border with Belarus to deter refugees. At the end of last year, thousands of vulnerable people were stranded in a standoff between the two countries, a crisis the UN called appalling. All these barriers shared a common purpose, to keep people out. Authoritarian regimes have used walls to keep their populations in. The Berlin Wall stood for 28 years and was the symbol of the Cold War divide in Europe. Another example is the demilitarised zone on the Korean Peninsula. It serves a military purpose, but it also stops defections from North to South Korea. Some communities in Northern Ireland are still separated by barriers known as peace walls. The barricades were meant to be temporary, but during the Troubles they became permanent lines of demarcation between Protestant and Catholic communities in several towns and cities. Walls and fences are crude measures. They don't solve underlying issues, but they're effective, at least temporarily, to keep people out, keep people in or keep people separated. Claire Herriot, TRT World.